be doing a quick review of the Hyperkin six button Sega Genesis controller. Now I hear a lot of great things about this and how it feels like the original controller and it does and it feels, you know, it's like really good third party controller, it's sturdy, it's just, I've heard that it's better than the original six button controller so I'm like wow, cool, I'll have this controller and it's a new controller and if it's sturdy and everything then I'll it'll be good because it's brand new and everything well I've had it for fucking three days this button doesn't function right it's already fucking broken I took it apart I cleaned all the parts and stuff I used alcohol and everything cleaned all the contacts put it back together and it still doesn't work so three fucking days the Hyperkin controller lasted me three days Okay, so Hyperkin has a video up uh, making it sound like this thing can withstand uh, some kind of rage. So, you know, you go into a rage and throw your controller and it doesn't break. Well, let's fucking test that fucking theory. Uh, after I ended up accidentally ending that video, but this is what happened to the, well, this is part of what happened to the Hyperkin controller. Another part of it, what happened, hold on one second, is this. That, all the screwed things broke, this slid out, whatever, so it's completely fucking garbage, don't buy one of these, unless you hate yourself, don't buy one of these. Alright, so yeah, that's my review on the Hyperkin um, <laughs> controller, and uh, just don't buy one. Um, <clears throat> do not buy it, do not buy it, please, for the love of God, do not buy it, just buy the original, buy the original, buy the original, now I have to wait for another controller to come in the mail for, uh, for two player games with my friend, so now I'm going to be stuck back with that stupid fucking piece of shit Hyperkin, uh, not, hi yeah, the other Hyperkin piece of shit controller, at least it works though, kind of, um, but yeah, that, that, that's my review on the, uh, Hyperkin, uh, six button controller do not not only do not buy that but don't buy any third party controllers there's no such thing as a good third party controller it does not exist even the expensive ones are shit i have purchased expensive ones for a reason they actually allowed me to swap it was a ps3 one allowed me to swap the left the triggers with the bumpers so that you could play first person shooters on the ps3 with the triggers that didn't allow that, whatever, and it broke in like five fucking seconds. So don't buy third-party controllers at all. Uh, do not support the third parties. Throw them in the garbage. Kick their ass. The end. Do not buy that controller again.